In this video, I want to explain a little bit in depth on how the web rules work. So you can, so here on this screen, I've kind of got split screen. I have my teacher account over here showing uh, I'm logged into Lightspeed Classroom with my class. And so you can see I have one student in my class and uh, what they're currently on. So, you know, if they go to YouTube, it'll pop up YouTube, most viewed. Um, that sort of thing and if I go ahead and click on the student I'll be able to see the thumbnail um, browsing history that sort of thing and I can also you know close tabs if I need to but so I wanted to show you the web rules so right now and by default web rules are you are always set to none which means um, there's no web rules there's no limiting that is happening um, in the with those web rules. Uh, the other option you have is no browsing. So if you choose no browsing and it loads, um, and if I try to go to, then there you go, it pops up and I blocked. So all websites are blocked. So if I try to go to classroom, everything would be blocked. And you can see here um, on their on their browsing history. Um, you can see this devices.classroom relay that is a blocked um, say that's a blocked page so you have no uh, web uh, web rules opens everything up um, you have no browsing which shuts everything down and then you can customize your um, students web browsing two options you have for customize is focused mode and on focus mode students can only go to the websites that are listed so they can only go here so if you only want them to go to any of the Google stuff classroom docs drive um, you just put google.com in here um, that will allow them to go do a Google search but once they click off and onto a link someplace else on that search that takes them away from a Google page it'll be blocked uh, but it'll get them to classroom docs drive slides all the Google stuff um, so if you're if you're taking if you only want them on a one specific site uh, you just can copy and paste the website in here and that will work the other option is explore mode and it works the opposite of focused so on explore mode all websites are open except for what's listed underneath and those are going to be blocked so if you if you want them to have more access to sites but you you want to block let's say maybe you want YouTube blocked or something else blocked um, but they'll be able to get to everything else so focus mode is really gonna be your best friend here because you basically set the list of sites that the kids are allowed to go to so if I if I just put google.com in here and click apply and I come up here this the site was blocked I'm gonna go to classroom because it has google.com in it it lets me open up my my classroom this has google.com in it but if I try to go to YouTube then that is going to be blocked and if I try to go to cool math games or whatever the website's going to be it, if it doesn't have google.com in it it's going to be blocked so that's going to be your best friend and um, and again that is under the web rules here and under customize so you have none which would be everything's open you're not limiting any uh, web browsing you have no browsing so that's everything is shut off no matter where they go and then customize you have the focus mode where everything on this list is what they're only allowed to go to and then explore mode is the opposite where everything on the list is going to be blocked um, and everything else is open now the one other setting that you have is down here at the bottom when a student changes their status to done it sets the web rule to none so if you check this 
what happens is is that um, so a student so I'm blocked so what students can do is they can come up here to the to the classroom uh, extension and they can mark that they are done and when they mark that they're done there's a little icon right here that shows that they're done and then they are not being blocked anymore um, that's not going to be turned on by default that's something you have to check and um, that's something that you get to decide whether or not you want to turn it on and uh, allow the students to know that that's there um, on a, personally I don't th I wouldn't use that necessarily but you might find times where um, once students are done with their work they can click done and then they can go on to other websites um, and wait for uh, the rest of the group so um, so that's how you use the web rules um, in Lightspeed Classroom.